Hi friend, in this video we are going to learn the concurrency control that is based on the locking in distributed database. Means how we can ensure the concurrency based on the locking protocol in distributed database. Now you can see the figure here. So here I will take one simple example. First try to explain that one, that figure, whatever the figure is there and then the different type of concept which you can follow for the logging. Now you can see here, we know that what is the meaning of root agent, agent, DTM and LTM I already explained in my previous video. So here suppose I want to perform the online transfer from account A to B and C. So think about the online transfer. So if you go for the online transfer what you can do? First we have to open the web page okay after that we have to click on transfer so transfer means agent means what agent is the one type of program that is helpful for the performing different type of operation in distributed database so root agent means from where the your program or tax or transaction is started it known as root agent and where we are going to perform bnc it is known as the your agent there root agent means initiate the tax and these are the where I can transfer the money. So first our tax is that I have click on transfer. When I click on transfer so I can put the two account like in B and C. So root agent diet come to the DTM. DTM means suppose I have given the B and C and B and C not exist not added as a beneficiary in your account there. So you are not able to transfer it. So we have to add that. So DTM tax is that it will be checked whether it is added or not. If it is added, then we can go to the this part. This part means how much amount I can transfer there. And then when I give the my OTP, OTP where you can say OTP will be registered. OTP will be registered to the your local transaction means I mean local database. So that will be very OTP will be sent to the particular mobile number. And from that mobile number, we can perform. Uh, from that mobile number we can say that so OTP where we can say that OTP at the your mobile mobile will be stored at the local database there so when the all you can provide the correct OTP money will be deducted and SMS will be come here now think about this one again the agent here the data money will be go there that money it will be see from where it is coming communicate the message yes coming from the account a now it will be update in your mobile and message will become we have received five thousand ten thousand whatever the amount from the account of this a and name of the this account is something so this is the whole structure similarly see this case will be happen so in this way dtm will uh, uh, your reference model will be work there same when you start the transaction this is a one transaction I can say similarly so here when the transaction will be start so we know that we require the B and C it may be possible that from this side I want to start the transaction which required the C there it may be possible that from this one I am transferring the money from this part it is also possible from that the B want to transfer the money C so how they will handle so based on the these three protocol we are able to do it one tax is just suppose we know that based on the distributed database concept your local database suppose Kolkata have the information about the Kolkata and also little bit of information of Kolkata will be stored in a like the Delhi and Mumbai there okay so problem is that when any transaction want to access the database it can access from the uh, Kolkata Second transaction access data from Delhi and Mumbai because some information is also stored there. Why? Because availability of the data in distributed database we want to increase because if the local site will be failed like Kolkata, I can access the data from B and C. So this redundancy problem create the problem in case of the concurrency control. It may be possible that whatever the value we are taking here, that value will be deeper because when the transaction perform the tax at 10 a.m. it updated but that is not updated here so inconsistency of data will be occur 
so that type of problem be will be occur when multiple copies are there and DTM for the DTM it is not possible to handle the multiple copy locking at the same time so that will be create the problem you can see here figure that this is interface level 2 is saying that here you can go for the local share local exclusive and unlock there here this interface is saying that in this level what we can do there what we can do we can do the local share local exclusive local unlock so this is a higher level in higher level what you can do global share global exclusive and global unlock there so how we can deal with because it's very hard to deal this type of situation one place data is updated second place data is not updated concurrency means at the same time same item can be accessed by more than one transaction so how you can handle you can handle the this type of situation by the three protocol first protocol is saying that write lock all read lock one means suppose i want to perform the write operation or b c and suppose read operation in d so it is saying that whatever the location i want to perform the write i can lock it in exclusive mode exclusive means if no other transition will be able to access that data item they have to wait it is a read one read one means i have given the example suppose i want to perform the write in b and c and read in d d or suppose read in d or e also it is saying that the uh, here we have to perform the write and read means suppose d or e exist in the four location so at any location i can go for the read or uh, share lock not all the four location we have to go for the share lock but whatever the location b occur or c occur suppose b and c occur in five location at the five location we have to perform the exclusive lock because it is saying the right lock or local means whatever the location b and c exist there like 100 location b and c exist 100 location we have to perform the right and suppose d and e exist 100 location we not required to go for 100 at, at least one location if i perform the read lock on so my tax will be over why they are saying so it is saying that suppose second transaction want to go to right so they will know that the yes this is already for the exclusive so exclusive exclusive conflict will be there but read lock one uh, because whenever anybody read your value that will be not create any problem we know that the suppose someone some hacker enter in in your account so they know that what is the balance what are different type of benefits here are there they will what transactions you perform but they are not able to perform any transfer they can required the code OTP for that and also the password so read is not the problem any tension can the read the value problem is the right but what is the problem in this locking problem this locking is that at the hundred location we have to perform the lock after that we have to unlock it so it required the lot of communication between DTM agent and LTM so network overhead will be increased there to overcome this problem they are going for the majority locking protocol majority, majority locking protocol we know that suppose uh, i want to perform uh, i want to access the data item b which exists in a hundred location there so this is applicable for both share and exclusive okay suppose i want to access the data item right i want to perform the right operation on item b and read operation on item c suppose item b exists in hundred location and item C is also exist in 100 location the majority is saying that when we can cross the 51 location I have to perform the exclusive and at the 51 location I have to perform the share so 49 location will not require to perform the right uh, exclusive and the share so it will be reduce the communication between the network but problem is that suppose whatever the location we have performed the exclusive and share at that place one transaction is not requested any value it may be possible that transaction requested the value where the log is not performed so again inconsistency in database will be occur that is not tolerated so that is the one problem of the majority locking and one problem of the uh, one part of the majority locking is that quorum based protocol what is quorum based protocol it is saying that suppose i am giving example if i ask that today i will not take the class so those who are not eager to attend the class they can say yes sir, yes no problem we can manage but some serious students say no sir 
this is very important semester is just coming out so if you take the class it is good for it so quorum based protocol is saying that here we are not go a random choice of the student we have to go for the choice according to weight and we have to calculate the weight later on we know that how we can calculate we can calculate the uh, weight based on the request of the data item value of the data item and based on that if the weight is good if maximum are saying yet go for the commit we can go for the commit if maximum are saying go for the abort we can go for the abort yeah, maximum are saying that we have go for the exclusive we can go for exclusive and yeah, maximum is going for the share i can go for share or unlock unlock so mainly quorum based protocol is the based on the concept of weightage the problem is this one i mentioned 51 location no problem but suppose 52 location one data item one transaction requested the data item the data inconsistency may be happened so to overcome this one primary copy locking primary copy locking is saying that uh, suppose kolkata kolkata database exists here so this is a primary copy it may be that some portion of the kolkata exists here here there but primary copy is the kolkata so this copy locking is saying that whatever the transaction perform there they can perform their task but at the end when they will go for the update they have to come in this location okay so when you come in this location there so they will see that yes already transaction one acquired the lock so the whatever changes they have done they have to wait when it will be released they can go for it the primary copy locking said we have to perform support transaction one perform the exclusive here here's also the value of kolkata exist b and uh, this location this location second transaction access the value perform the changes second time access the value performs in whenever they will come here it will say oh this is already locked so whatever changes we have done it is not right we have to wait for the this transaction to really lock then i can perform the operation there so this type of things are the useful so i hope that it will be clear your idea thank you